Now, <laughs> this next aroma. one is an incredibly, uh, it's an incredible article. Uh, we couldn't resist talking about this, but we need to be careful because um, there are some issues with this. Sorry, you keep on going. I'm, I'm getting ready for my article. Because I know I'm going to be drooling here, so I get it. Okay. <laughs> now, this Sorry, appeared that's humor. That's humor in the Grand Rapids Press Sunday, Dude. September 12th. So this is a little the, old the Wall by Street now. Street Press? No, no. Hey, this is the Grand it. Rapids yeah. Press. Russ, the skip show is timeless. Just forget that date. Well, the reason I bring this up is this is something that sat in our archives, and uh, I, I found it, and again, and looking at story ideas, and our staff presented this to me, <laughs> mainly me. Now, I have, since my wife died, kind of struggled with, uh, well, you know, lust issues and things like that, and Not you. there's a lot of temptation on the internet and a lot of things that, uh, you know, we shouldn't look at. And, but. and you would think, <laughs> well, you would think that if you did not have the ability to see lustful images, yeah. that the lust would not uh, torture you. You know, every man has I desires, that, I, I think, that. sometimes, that uh, you don't like. Yeah, no. Like, you want to keep your desires, of course, and I know you do, towards your wife, because that's the way the Lord meant it. You don't want oh, yeah. to Yeah, you don't <laughs> want to drift. I mean, no, no. let's face it, what does a man learn when he's younger? He learns that if he's with his girlfriend, let's say fiance, yeah. keep it there, and or a wife, if you see an attractive woman walk by you or to you, what do you have to learn to do? Um, read the Wall Street Journal or grab his press and find out what I'm doing wrong. Well, but I mean really, let's say a gorgeous woman starts walking by, you're with your wonderful wife, what do you do? Um, do you I stare at her? slap myself because I know I might be looking, and if I slap myself first then my wife won't. Well. And I think you're right. You're kind of policing yourself, right? You're being careful because your wife is not going to take kindly to you going, wow. Well, she encourages that. <laughs> well, you have that kind of relationship. But, but no, we I call mean, it an open in general, that's not healthy for a marriage, for you to be oogling others. Uh, your wife wants wait, to wait, know wait, that what she's... What are you saying about me? Wait a minute now. <laughs> well, she wants to know that she's that special part in your life. Well, she and, is. And my you trophy don't, wife. She doesn't yeah. want to think she's competing with, she's uh, not competing with pornography or other no. images or anything else. But and well, oh, well, we'll sorry, get to I'm that sorry, in a minute. Uh, no, but, but I think that's the sorry. challenge. It's kind of like when you go to a bathroom. You have to learn to look straight ahead when you do your business in a urinal. You're not supposed to ever, and you don't ever look to the right or left. That's what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I was in the bathroom. Okay, well, I was trying to, okay, yeah. I tell you that. But literally, <laughs> oh, as a man, man, you learn that. You tell your your son but not I, to I look. I learned so much as it. Oh, that's too well, bad. there's no peek, it's say, just wrong. I say, that, that, that's too bad about you. Well, it's just, little, little, hey there, little fella. <laughs> no, it's just wrong. You don't, whoa, big guy. You don't, you don't look I'm left looking. or right. You just focus on your business and leave. Wow. That's, that's what you got to do. That's what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> yeah. So it's that same principle that we really need to uh, train our eyes to not look at things that we shouldn't look at mm -hmm. because it's not healthy for okay. us. Because you know why? You just want more. And I think that's the problem. There's just more and more, and it's never ending. So never lust is a very dangerous, bad thing. Well, if that isn't bad enough, huh? this article reminds us you now things, things could be worse. That well, <laughs> worse if you don't have any sight. You would think again that if you don't have vision like and you're to... walking with your wife, you're not going to be distracted by seeing something. You're not going to be looking at the internet and seeing inappropriate things, right? And you're and thinking and there's Lassie, not a problem. Lassie, what do you see? Lassie goes, oh, cute. She's she's cute. So you're seeing eye dog with Oh, jeez. <laughs> wow, that was a leap. Why? Well, you got me on that I got one. you now. All right. But, but well, what see, happens another one, I get another one here. Is, but you would think that that is not an issue for someone who's blind. Well, believe it or not, Playboy by radio just gives bare facts to the blind. Wow. A female reader actually describes the uh, centerfold and reads the articles to blind people, creating lust, which I, I think yeah. is wrong. So you saw the website last night. What did you think? I did not oh. see the website. <laughs> I just, I just no, I did oh, not. Oh, that's a joke right no, there. Right. I, got that's a joke. I got it. I got it. You get that one here? It says here, Susie Hanks reads Playboy, Playboy magazine for the articles. Now, how many times have you heard that? <laughs> you you know, that it. years ago. I was just reading the articles. Well, you know, and my wife tries to do that every night. I say, honey... <laughs> I want to look at it and I want to read it. I'll do it myself. You don't need to read it no. to me anymore. How many guys are really reading the articles? I just don't know. Uh, yeah, okay, right. Oh, well, right. Yeah, that's what you're I, saying. I don't even have one, so I can't read anything. 
Well, uh, the way I'm reading through is she reads, you know, she reads the articles, jokes, and the letters and cartoons, and yes, the pictures. Each week for an hour, she snuggles close to a microphone in a tiny soundproof closet, oh, like reading and describing in great detail portions of the latest Playboy issue for the blind. My angel is the centerfold. Well, that's cool. Well, Look no, at that. come oh, on. Oh, is that? Well, is I mean, trying they to can help them out. Help them out. Like I said, it's a never-ending journey of wanting is that, is that like lust then? yeah it is lust i mean think Aww. of this now we're opening up a whole new avenue of uh oh. lust oh. with blind people so this is not a good thing then right well let's just i mean the grand rapids press wouldn't do a bad thing would they well it says i don't have to try to read it sexy <laughs> i can't believe this um, she's one of 200 volunteers at a Houston-based taping for the blind. I hope she's not the best-looking one. I just read it, really must be and I'm a woman, and that's pretty much sexy. Wow. It's a little overconfident, don't you wow. think? Uh, well, I got news for you. A uh, play girl called, and they wanted you to read uh, some articles for them yeah. on, the, on the radio there. Could you, so you don't, they said you don't have to read vision it sexually. Problems. Yeah, yes. great. Probably they don't see good-looking guys like yourself. See, so you could read to them and say... Uh, I was trying to get you a job. Here. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> now, she regularly, her you, regular you, job. You feel the sentimentality. Her regular job is reading the news for a classic rock station in Houston. Oh, so she has history. Yep. In a voice made for radio, so she you. reads the articles and describes the photos without innuendo. I don't read it all cover to cover in order, but I do read everything. Articles, jokes, little cartoons, all the pictures. She examines, like Miss August, in great detail... The picture. She's Latina, brunette with dark chocolate brown eyes. She has long curly brown hair. She's in the first photo sitting on the ocean. Very large grin on her face, pink lipstick, small tattoo right over the small of her back. Boy, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> hey, Russ. They told me I go blind, but I didn't know it's because it's it reading really? <laughs> the article. But like then, that. if you are, then you're still plagued by it. I, you know, that's really. I, I, I can't run. I can't run from it. I don't. I know. can't hide from it. So if only know. I couldn't see that. But no, see, they're following me. I don't know. So, wow. So, what do they do if you're like, you're deaf? Do they give you like something to read? Uh, the braille. Braille. Thing? I don't know. <laughs> they give you braille. Thing. I know. Oh, she has the beautiful brown eyes. Oh, stop. It's, she says, describing Playboy models doesn't get repetitive. Each one's different. Each one's like a little snowflake. There's different poses or scenarios or features. <laughs> I never thought of them as snowflakes. But um, whatever is there, I, I try to describe what I see so they get a picture in their head. Instead of e-harmonious, e-snowflake. Now, what here's doing. Mr. Or no, Krista Moser. Sorry, it's a, it's it's a, it's a lady. Krista Moser, executive director of taping for the blind, credits Hanks for the, quote, classy way she does it. That's really what we want our reader to do. She does it very like well, being able to describe instantly and creatively. You have to be their eyes, and that's exactly what I'll she bet is. she is, too. Now, you asked me this question. I you said, will. what about people who, uh, were you saying, can't, can't hear? hear? Well, do you know there's a text-only Braille edition of Playboy that's really? been available for decades? Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. I... We don't need lust to make it any worse than it is. It's already out there so everywhere. You can go deaf, dumb, and blind. You can still get your fix. That's right? sad. The devil's working everywhere, man. I'm All telling right. you. That boy's working 724.